Here we go. Yeah. 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 Hi. This is Steve. I'm from Phoenix, Arizona. No, scratch that. Hi, my name is Steve. I'm from Arizona. I'm here at the Texan RV Park to become a certified RV technician. Now, why do I want to do this? Well, 2020 was a bad year for a lot of people, including myself. Okay, so we're about to start day four of water heaters and furnaces. Uh, heading down to the schoolhouse this morning. More importantly though, it is only a couple of days until the big certified RV technician exam. So, I know that uh, my comrades, my fellow students, have been going down to the schoolhouse off hours to uh, get a little extra study work in and some hands-on. They've allowed us to do that, which is kind of nice. But, uh, come on along for the ride. We're gonna go ahead and drive down this morning to the Big Red Schoolhouse. Now, do I have to drive down there? Not really. Do I feel like driving down because I brought a tool bag that weighs 50 pounds? <laughs> well, that's, of course, on me, and you don't have to bring that many tools with you to class, but I do. I was really looking for something to do that would allow me to use my mechanical abilities along with starting my own business. The RV industry was booming in 2020. It's supposed to be the best year ever now in 2021. So it made sense to me to pursue a career somewhere in the RV industry. So let's go ahead and uh, head down there. Uh, beautiful morning in Athens. It's a little chilly at about 60 degrees. Still getting used to this humidity coming from Phoenix, zero humidity. But uh, come on along for the ride and we'll be there in about two seconds. Uh, it's an interesting experience here in that uh, in some ways it's like going to summer camp with your best buddies. <laughs> and in other ways, uh, I don't know that I've ever really looked forward to getting to a class uh, so quickly to see what you're going to learn the new day. Um, we start the class and review the previous day. Uh, yesterday we actually had to fix, not fix, but uh, identify issues on about 12 different units. I'm sorry, that's my seatbelt thing in the background. Uh, we had to identify issues on, uh, actually I think it was about 10 units, um, and then start our class. And uh, yeah, really looking forward to seeing what uh, What's in the agenda for today? All right, so here we are in the morning. It is beautiful out. Here's a big red in the background. Let's go say hi to some of my uh, fellow classmates over here. Morning, boys. Good morning. Good morning. How are we? Good, Good morning. <laughs> You'll be in the uh, There's something else, man. upcoming video. You're so uh, we're gonna go ahead and head into class here. But, um, and see what's going on. Again, day four of uh, water heaters and furnaces. Let's head in, see how it's going. Well, it's very dark in here this morning. But, uh, we're gonna go ahead and take a walk into this beautiful warehouse type of classroom area. Let's see what's going on. You can see Todd in the background over there. Our classroom is all the way down. So let's go ahead and see what's going on in the classroom. All right, day four of water heaters and furnaces. Are we doing a little bit of live troubleshooting here in the that furnace class <laughs> with one of our fellow yeah. students? Is it the discoloring on that? Yeah, yeah, the top one is discolored really bad compared to the others. Um, Where's the flashlight? I got one. That's pretty good. 
discoloration here as compared to down here where you see Shawnee. I came across uh, the website for the NRVTA and did some research and uh, you know the timing just worked out for me um, I sold my home sticks and bricks if you will back in January of this year 2021 um, I was blessed and fortunate to have the funds to be able to move into my toy hauler camper here <laughs> full-time uh, with my dog Mako and uh, we decided to reserve a spot and come out here and uh, join the fun here at the NRVTA uh, to go to school and get the knowledge and hands-on uh, to become an RV certified technician. All right, so let's join along and whistle the Andy Griffith tune. For those of you who know who Andy Griffith is, you'll get it. Big Red Schoolhouse is just down that way. Um, it's about a four minute walk from the park here. Uh, the park is absolutely beautiful. Plenty of space between sites, um, beautiful sunsets. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, stop in the main Texan RV park office here. See if we got any mail. Hello there. I'm good. I'm gonna go check, see if we got some mail. I think I got some mail. Say hi to Tony. Tony. All right. Turn that up. I don't need people seeing me getting my mail. The weather in here in Athens, Texas, eh. You know, it's been rainy, it's been sunny. It's obviously absolutely gorgeous today, but uh, this is Friday night, and I've just completed my fifth week of training. And I will tell you this, uh, the training is intense. <laughs> Good morning, happy campers. <laughs> Good morning, Steve. Welcome to the world of the big red schoolhouse. <laughs> this is the uh, typical morning uh, regime out here talking about different things like what's going to be there on the exam, what did we learn yesterday, what we're going to check out today. Hey, let's go take a walk into school. Let's see what's going on today. What's the voltage that crosses on the... We can't go in yet, so... It's not that it's hard, but the training is very comprehensive, very complete, a lot of material, a lot of hands-on, um, great instructors. Uh, my very first week was the fundamentals course with Todd. Uh, you're given a ton of information on that week. Um, I did not sit in for the registered RV technician, uh, which is a test that can be taken after the first week of class since I was going to take the remaining four weeks to become a certified RV technician. So I've been through uh, the refrigerator class, the air conditioning class, the exterior systems and hydraulics class. Uh, this past week, we just finished the furnaces and water heaters class. Uh, my head's a little bit spinning, but uh, I passed all five of those classes uh, with an A, so I'm quite happy about that. Here we go. A little bit of nervous energy. In fact, in the park today, there is a lot of energy. I can feel it. Pulling up the last time as a student of being a RV technician and uh, looking forward to passing this test so I become a certified RV technician. Um, it's uh, well over 100 questions on a written test in multiple choice format. And there's hands-on as well, 
uh, we do need to diagnose, uh, not fix, but just identify the issues uh, of various components and products that they put out. Um, I've been told that there will be at least uh, two different refrigerators, those are absorption refrigerators, uh, two different air conditioning units, uh, a water heater, and a furnace. Uh, I could be wrong, but I believe that's the six components that we will, six actual devices that we will need to go and uh, identify the issue with, and um, that's a portion of our test score as well. Okay, here we are. Big red. Give you a little panoramic over here. Let's see who's hanging out in front of the school. Here we go. Through these doors walks a student. Yes. Out from these doors will walk a certified RV technician. Master of Ceremonies over there. Here we go. It's probably the last time I'll be able to film since we're not really allowed to film things while the test is going on. But there you go. All right, we'll check back after the test and uh, see how we did. So I'm looking forward, <laughs> although I'm a little nervous, I guess. Everyone is, I think. Um, not so much that. Uh, we didn't comprehend or get a lot out of the material for each of the classes, but you know, my my fundamentals class was five weeks ago. Uh, my air conditioning class was four weeks ago. <laughs> so, uh, you know, I'm going to review a little bit of material tonight to refresh my memory on different uh, systems and different items within the RV, but. Uh, confident. I'm not only confident that I will pass the exam tomorrow, but I'm confident that I have the skills and ability to go out and start my own business as a RV tech. I have a mobile business I would like to start. I've already named it Tech RV. It's tech with a K, <laughs> which I've been made fun of a little bit this week, but uh, and the action for the past four weeks, but... Uh, we knew you'd be doing it! <laughs> Anyhow, uh, I'm thoroughly enjoying this experience. Uh, you know, if you're watching this and you have any doubts if the value is behind the money you're going to spend in these classes, I can absolutely tell you. There we go. Yeah. 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 Woo! Got new oh, I can get my. Hold on. There we go. That's going to Todd. Thanks, Thank you. Congrats. Thank you. Yes, a new hat. <laughs> Roger Malone. I did it. There we go. We're on. There we are, live. Lorenz. Lorenz, how did it go today? Fantastic. It was a stressful experience. It was a very complex experience, but somehow we made it happen. We made it all the way through. <laughs> yes, we did. Excellent. Good to hear, my friend. Good to hear. Roger. Yes. Sure. Well, how did it go today? Man, it was awesome. I got to angle it up for Roger. I was got to angle it up. Cut his, his head off. Tall a little bit. The instruction was great. Uh, Todd did a great job of uh, the pre-test. Uh, going over everything that we missed, the review, and then the final, he brought in uh, he brought in lunch for us, and uh, it was just an amazing experience. Absolutely, thank you, Roger. Awesome. All right, let's go around and uh, get some other folks here. How'd you guys think it went today? It went awesome. You guys happy? Yes, we're no. done. Celebration. Yes. A pizza. <laughs> Some friends. There we go. Graduation hat for Drew. Go out. See what the folks out here are doing in the little celebration. All right, behave, everybody. Don't say the word out loud. Everybody gotta behave. 
No, don't behave. Margaritas, where's that? Nope, nope, there you nope. go. We're talking about Jenna's earrings. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Tony can edit any of this stuff out, right? Yeah, just right, Tony? Tony right? This is my new life. Uh, my dog Mako and myself in this trailer that we live full time in, uh, we are going to head south uh, to live on the ocean, live on the beach, uh, live on the ocean near uh, Corpus Christi. That's the goal. Uh, you know, my whole life uh, I wanted to live on the ocean, or near the ocean, I guess, live on the beach. Um, I couldn't see any way to do that. I just couldn't, even with all the money I made back in information technology or personal training. Uh, and this, this is the, this is the experience and the, the blessing that uh, that I know is going to be able to allow me to go and uh, live my dream. I want to be a mobile RV tech uh, near Corpus Christi, Texas, which is on the ocean. I want to live on the beach and uh, help people. Help people get their RVs back up and running. Uh, help people enjoy their vacations. Help people like myself who live full-time in their RVs to uh, really you know, get their systems up and running. If their water heater's out, you can't take a warm shower. If your air conditioning's out, you're going to be miserable. Refrigerator goes out, you could lose some food and all these things. It's your house on wheels. Um, so I'm here to uh, to satisfy that uh, that need that's out there. And uh, I really feel confident that after this training, that uh, I'll have met my goals. And I will uh, be certified, ready to be able to go out there and help people with the skills I've learned at the NRBTA.